Well, hello everyone again. This is uh, Mo with DIY Garage. Got a fun little project going on for you guys. In case you guys want to install one of these on a Dualtron X Limited. I repeat X Limited. This does not apply to the X or the X2. It will not work. And I'll show you guys in a little bit why. So how does this work? If you want to install an alarm on your scooter and you don't want to worry about replacing batteries like I did in my previous alarm, where if the battery dies, someone could just borrow the scooter and take off and go get yourself another scooter. How does this work? You got the lock button, locks it, engages the alarm. So if someone wants to permanently borrow your scooter, if you just move it like this, nothing happens. But as long as there's any vibration, turns it on, just gives you a little warning. You do it again, it goes off. And it gives you all the cute sounds that go with it. Unlock, and it stops it. If someone borrows a scooter, and they're hiding it somewhere, you can press this button and it sets off the alarm. So now the cool feature, one of the coolest features is, see right now if you want to turn on the scooter, uh, it's just not happening. So what you got to do is unlock it first, press this button twice, and now you can turn it on. So when the scooter's on, you're walking away. You don't have to press the power button. Just lock and walk away. How about that? I think that's pretty sweet. Now, you're going to ask me, how do I install it? The alarm itself is a pretty good size. And I believe I have it somewhere in here. I know I have it somewhere in here. Um, yeah, I just found it. And... It's not expensive. It's priced at 12 bucks from AliExpress. And this is what it looks like. Those are two remotes. Pretty decent size. Here, let me just put the phone down for a second. I don't know what I can pull it from here. And here's where a lot of you might actually have an issue. So as you guys can see, it is pretty wide. So in nowhere here, this is my other Dualtron X Limited. Where are you gonna install it? So if you open your scooter, you can't put it there. That's why I said X Limited only because this would not work on, I had the X for four years. There's no space to plug this thing in anywhere. However, on the limited, it's hard to operate this thing with one hand. So when these are installed, you guys see that? When these are installed, you could put it right here against this thing. So the way I have it installed on the other one is I have it sitting against this thing like this, I cut that, that, that tab, this tab, I cut it off and then it sits like that. Now the wiring, if you have a SIM card remover, this is where you may also get stuck if you want to do this at home. If you're in Southern California and you need help, I don't know anybody here in SoCal that knows these scooter better. These scooters better than me. I've done just about every job on them, from replacing wheels, changing the stem, uh, you name it. I've done it on these scooters. Replacing the control units. Man, this thing sucks. All right, <clears throat> you name it. I've done it. So now you're gonna have this thing. This you you can't feed it through here. You're gonna break it. So what you gotta do is you take a SIM card remover and you see these pins at the top portion of the pin. The top portion, not the bottom, the top portion. You're gonna insert the SIM card remover and push 
the pins down and you could remove these wires one by one. Once you remove them, the pins that hold them down secure in here will be pushed down. So you take something like an X-Acto knife and you push them back out and make sure they're, they're sticking out before you insert them back into this thing. Good night, buddy. So once you do that, you could feed them through. So you're gonna attach this guy right here. So you see this wire, you're gonna unplug it. It's next to the controller on the right. You're gonna unplug it. You're gonna plug one into there, one on the other side, and the small one goes into the alarm. And you're all set. And that should do it. Now, if again, if you live in Southern California and you don't know how to do this stuff and you need help, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to help you install it and help you with other stuff. Uh, this one just got a brand new rear tire. I just installed a new kickstand that was broken here. It's singing again. All right. Done a whole bunch of other stuff to it now. Uh, this one, I have raised it off the ground in comparison to this one. My son is 317 pounds. When he stands on it, he pushes it down quite a bit. So how do you raise this scooter? You see these two right here? You got this one and this one. So if you move this one, this one out, if you move it out, you're going to tighten up your spring. So you'll have a, a stiffer spring so when you step on it, it doesn't, it doesn't bottom out easily. Now the second one right here, once you loosen it up and there is a tool, I have it somewhere here in the garage. There is a tool that actually helps you loosen these. So if you loosen this one and you open this one up, you're gonna bring the suspension up and you can rotate the whole thing and it will come out it looks something like that. So you see, you increase the space. I increase the space between this and this, that's stiff. And then I rotated it out, it came out, and then you tighten it from here. So again, you're gonna loosen this guy up, the one closest to the shock. You're gonna loosen it up. You're gonna take this bolt and nut off you will unscrew the shock. You can actually unscrew it. It'll come out, you can do four turns if you want, and then make sure it's tight from here. You close this collar, tighten it up with the tool, and you are all set. You could do the same thing in the front, and you're in great shape. So what do I love about these guys? These are the best, absolute best scooters in the market. There's nothing like it. Not at this price point, there's absolutely nothing like it. As you guys can see, I love big motorcycles. These are six cylinder bikes. These are the most powerful bikes BMW makes. And these are the most powerful scooters I've ever set feet on at this price range. So you got dual motors, 13,300 watts. That's more than twice the Dualtron X, the original. It's an absolute insanity. If you max all the settings out and you hit the throttle, the first thing I told my son, when you do that, you're gonna start asking yourself, who the hell needs all this power? And that's exactly what happened. He pulled on the throttle and these things took off like a bat out of hell. Um, range, range monsters, an absolute, amazing uh touring scooter we did uh 52 miles yesterday again my son weighs 317 pounds i weigh 256 uh we went for 52 miles went to the beach and back 52 miles and then when i say 15 we were not doing 15 miles per hour we we're just moving at a decent rate of speed between 25 to 30 and the last let's say the last 10 miles we just took i took mine off of eco mode and just went crazy and I thought that's just gonna decimate the range. And guess what? It did not. Came back, still had almost 30 miles left to go. I was actually pretty shocked. I've ridden it to work back and forth 
I realize they have great fuel, uh, fuel efficiency. Listen to me. They have amazing range, but I didn't realize if you went on a long trip, don't pause, let it heat up, you know, go at a higher speed. I didn't think they were, they were going to do that good. And they were not completely fully charged. So who is the scooter designed for? I'd say anybody that owned an X1 or X2, you owe it to yourself to sell that shit and get one of these. They look similar. They ride nothing alike. I used to ride my X1. If I ride for 20 miles, I need a chiropractor visit and a massage. This thing, I mean, I was standing on it the whole way back and forth. You couldn't do 52 miles on the other one. You run out of range. But 52 miles, other than the pain of me being heavy and my feet hurting at the bottom of my foot. Everything else was fine. Did a little stretching and just took off. You're comfortable on it. It's more secure if you're going fast. Uh, it's a lot more stable than the previous version, the X2 and the X1. It's a lot more stable. It's 33 pounds heavier. The springs are 950 pound springs versus the previous ones were a lot softer. You hit a 